Right, my name's Stephen Waters. I'm the Managing Director of InfoCat. Uh, we're a specialist performance management consultancy and we've been working in this business for over 20 years. Well, our, our prime focus is helping our customers, mainly finance departments of large organisations. And what we're doing is helping them build applications to uh, model and predict the performance of the company and then analyze the results. We work most of the time with the Cognos range of products from IBM and they are more of a toolkit rather than actual sort of a finished product. So what we're doing is understanding the client requirements and then working with them to design and build the application to meet their precise needs. We have a sort of horizontal focus. We're normally working with finance departments, FP&A managers, that sort of thing. Um, but there are particular sectors where we have a lot of expertise. For example, in the insurance sector, we have an application uh, where we can help companies make the best use of the capital they need to support their ongoing business. Uh, it's quite strictly regulated under the Solvency II capital regulations. So we did a, um, a big project which allowed our customer to save millions of pounds because they were using their capital most efficiently. Um, in the airline sector, uh, it's quite an interesting example because whenever a, an aircraft lands, as soon as the wheels hit the ground, it starts accumulating costs. Parking charges, handling charges for the number of passengers, number of pieces of baggage and so forth. And those charges vary depending on the day of the week, uh, the time of day, even the season. So it's, it's quite a complex complex area. And you know, it, it's, uh, it was costing this airline hundreds of millions of pounds a year and they needed to be able to predict and analyse those. So we built them an application where we recorded all, we stored all of the uh, details of all of the contracts and all of the charging arrangements for all of their all of their ground handling agents across hundreds of airports. We then feed in the operational um, details and they can actually come up with a good prediction of how much it's going to cost them. It's a combination of those. We can help people save money, as you say, we can make their whole planning process a lot more efficient. So in that case, uh, you can either save costs or you can end up doing more with less. The other thing is it, the systems we build allow people to uh, do a lot more in terms of things like scenario analysis. Very often with their existing systems, a sort of rag bag collection of ad hoc spreadsheets and access databases, we build a proper centralized system where they can, for example, model the effects of external factors such as foreign exchange rate changes, changes to interest rates, and they can keep different versions of their forecast. The software we work with, which is primarily Cognos TM1 and related products such as CDM and controller, is uh, essentially database agnostic. Um, and it will um, work on the cloud. There's a full SaaS solution. It will also work on-premise. It will work on a hosted solution. So we are more concerned with the actual solution itself and developing the best solution for the customer. Where we host it depends on a variety of factors such as cost, such as their infrastructure strategy. But we can do either. So for us, it is to a certain extent secondary. Nowadays, increasingly, people are looking towards the cloud. Um, it has benefits, particularly with larger organisations who are working in a distributed environment, and a lot of our customers are in that situation. Um, obviously, ease of maintenance, cost of infrastructure and so forth, can be considerably less if you're moving to a cloud environment. Nevertheless, there are still organisations that want to, to maintain physical control over their data. They may have regulatory controls, for example, banks and so forth. And so there is always going to be a place for those on-premise solutions. But we can work, we can supply uh, the best of breed solution in your data center or on cloud, whichever is better for you. I think the biggest thing is to think about not just efficiency, but risk. We've seen a whole series of examples over the years where people have relied on these disparate systems I mean, and, and then come up with uh, incorrect analyses and projections. And the latest, I think, was Marks and Spencer, I believe, um, who incorrectly predicted their results based on incorrect spreadsheets. And this was in the last few months.